Hi, my name is Kyle. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make for all of the winter squash the way if you prefer to put it into the pie. I like to put it with the kabocha squash. Kabocha squash that you ever try inside the pie that you may show for those pictures of the Google images. And the first thing, I preheat the oven for 400 degrees. I'm going to start with the pie pastry shells. It has to be a 9 inch deep dish pie pastry shells. And you want to arrange the pie weights in a pie pastry shell lined with parchment paper to blind bake the pie crust. Then place it on a cookie sheet. I just put it on the parchment paper. That way it will be easy to clean up. Now if you don't have a pie weight, what I like to do I'm going to fill with black beans. You can substitute with dry black beans or uncooked rice to replacing the pie weights. I'm going to do that for the black beans. Let's see the pot and paper make it evenly. So once to put in the pie weights, or I can put it with the dry beans or uncooked rice. You're going to put it in the oven for 40 minutes to toast it with the pie crust. We don't want to get really soggy. We are going to finish the rest of the ingredients to make a filling. Now while we're waiting for the pie shell, you want to prepare the filling in a large bowl. You're going to start with first with kabocha. Do you know what is kabocha? Now here's what I tell you for about the Wikipedia. Kabocha is a type of winter squash, a Japanese variety of the species Carburite and Beta Maxima. It is also called kabocha squash or Japanese pumpkin in North America. In Japan, kabocha may refer to either the, this squash, to the western pumpkin or indeed to other squashes. Now you can put in the kabocha in the oven, it's going to be nice and tender. You can boil it or you can also steam it. After you just put it in the oven, boil or, or steam, you're going to mash it. I used it with a potato masher. It's gonna be very puree. And this one I measured for only for 15 ounces, which makes one and five six cups. You never have to try for the kabocha. What you want to do, just take a little kabocha, it just tastes like pumpkin. Let's go plump that into it. You can go ahead. You know the kabocha has lots of vitamin C but it does taste really healthy you want to pour 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk well, this is a lot of condensed milk I'm using with the brand name Magnolia you can use Eagle brand it is completely up to you or even like carnations I'm also going to put two large eggs. Make sure it's eggs room temperature. We're going to put also spice it with one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, three fourth teaspoon of ground ginger, three fourth teaspoons of ground cloves, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one teaspoon of allspice. Don't forget, a half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to be using kosher salt because it has a pure and natural one. That'd be a good flavor. And just going to stir that together to make a very light batter. I'm going to use it with the wire whisk. Let's get the pie pastry out of the oven after just about 40 minutes and 400 degrees. And you can see the dry beans almost stays over here with the parchment paper. I'm just going to lift that. And you can also see it's not really too soggy but it's really like a crisp. 
that's what you do for the blind bait. I just already transferred to the temperature to 425 degrees after 400. Now I'm going to pour the filling that we just made goes into the pie crust after just blind bake. Now you want to take a strap of aluminum foil to cover the pie edges because it doesn't turn brown but hopefully it's going to be white. Let's take some foil. Just want to cover. All covered with the pie edge. Now you can even use with the pie shells. It might be easy one. Now you want to return it back in the oven that we just transferred to 425. We're going to bake it for 15 minutes. Always remember to wear oven mitt while the pan is still hot. I'm going to put it back for the next for 25 minutes for 425. Alright, we got it. After it's 14 or 15 minutes after 425, I'm going to reduce it for 350 degrees. And I'm going to continue to bake for 35 to 40 minutes. I'm coming back and I'll show you what it looks. After it's just about 35 to 40 minutes, then I reduce it for 350. I just took it out of the oven. You want to put it on the wire rack. You're going to remove the strips of foil. You can see it's not over browning for the edge. Can't be uh, sticking. You just want to let this cool before you're going to serve it. And this is going to be my great. Now you want to use the toothpick or a cake tester to check in the middle of the filling. And it comes out clean. I'm just going to slice the pie and just check that. Look at that. I'm going to dollop with some whipped cream right on top. Perfect one. <laughs> Look at that. And here you go. Here's the finished kabocha squash pie. Where well, you can try that, it just tastes like pumpkin pie. If you're interested for more recipes, let me know in the comments below. View always before sharing. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to see all notifications about the new videos and the latest video. Thank you very much for watching.